What's up guys? Francis here. Francis Undead here. Welcome to my channel and the program. Tonight I'd like to make a video recording for for the recent for the most recent subclass of visa. The Department of Immigration and Border Protection, aka the, the Department of Home Affairs, has already implemented. So as you can see here, now this subclass, this particular subclass of visa has a new name. Um, now it's called the Temporary Shortage of Skills Visa. Since, um, since there has been some changes, I, and uh, all things considered, I, considering I, I don't currently have I currently don't have anything else worthwhile to to do anyway. So I've I've, I've decided to I've decided to make another video to keep you guys sated and updated. So without further ado, let us begin. So we just click. I have I have read and agreed to the terms and conditions. Click next and see the next page. That can take a while in here with all your information that is necessary. Next. Mm, and, and you turn over, well in fact, in fact, um, perhaps some sometimes you just need to bluff. You you just need you just have to learn how how to bluff about the and you turn over of your your sponsor, and uh, perhaps somehow the the numbers uh, the numbers alone can impress the Department of Home Affairs of Australia. Well, I don't know since I don't um, I don't know for sure since I I haven't a actually um, got granted with the visa yet but i'm trying to give you you know I, i'm trying to make the entire process as honest as transparent as possible so that you guys won't won't get deceived and scanned by those so-called professional lawyers or migration agents whom they claim to be so um labor hire practices is the applicant nominating those positions to recruit or hire out or receive workers to an unrelated business definitely no is there any adverse information no um let us proceed um i'll just cover all these names and the the addresses just to protect my sponsor's privacy as well as confidentiality here Click next. Is the no no next? Um, I just fill in these blanks with random words and numbers to to speed up the process. Um, because I don't want I I don't want to fill to to fill your to fill your minds with crabs with unnecessary trouble and information um, since you need to fill in all these blanks accordingly to your personal circumstances so I just I'll just quick rundown of all these blanks does the, does the position require the nominee to hold a license, registration, or professional membership? In most cases, this, the, this option doesn't apply to you. Unless, unless you work, un, unless you will be, or you will be working um, in a trade occupation, such as a carpenter, a chef, or a cook, or a, let's say, a plumber. Those sort of occupations else you, you you just click no next 
Okay. Okay, you just need to fill in these blanks accordingly to your um, to your own circumstances and situations. Next, marketing salary, market salary rate. Again, so here is perhaps look here this part particular column the, the the department may or may not may the department may or may not scrutinize about this column you just filled in so be very, very careful when, while filling this evidence type um, again again decide what to fill in accordingly Next. Okay. No, yes. Okay. No alternative locations yet. International trade obligation. If no no that if um if you happen to come from China, Japan, South Korea, Singapore Malaysia or Thailand, you do, your sponsor won't have to conduct the infamous, the notorious labor market testing. Um, but still, once um, let's say once you are you are from countries other than those other than those mentioned before, then I'm, I'm sorry, you will have to ask your sponsor to conduct the labor market testing in order to um, keep the department satisfied and happy. Next, just ignore the warning regardless. Um, is the nominee an owner, director, principal or partner of the applicant? No. Unless you want to, uh, unless you wish to go for the self sponsorship scheme, does the nominee has an existing relationship with any of the owners, directors, principals, or partners of the applicant? Again, no. Nope. Yes, yes, just in case. Okay, yes. The qualifications and experience of the nominee are cons commensurate with the qualifications and experience specified for the nominee for the nominated occupation in the NZSCO dictionary. Legislative instrument or labor agreement, yes. Um Perhaps here sounds a bit confusing since since it asks the nominated position has not been created solely to secure a nom to secure a migration outcome for the nominee. Um, perhaps you we, we should just click yes because it asks has not been. Um, so yes or no? That's the most confusing part. Regardless, I will, I will contact the Department of Immigration and Border Protection personally to clarify this. For now, let's um, yes. Then leave it be. No more yes. Yes or no. Okay, here come, comes the next, the final stage of this application to nominate. <coughs> next. So there we go. I hope 
this video has made sense, made some senses, and provided with you guys some clues. Um, so if you guys happen to have any questions or comments, I'd love to know them. I love to I love to hear them as always. So thank you again for watching and listening. I'm your host Francis and Dead. Signing off and see you next time on YouTube. Stay blessed, stay tuned, stay faithful. Cheers.